What's up YouTube, it's Joe Gass here with a video for you guys today on what to do right after you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. So once you jailbreak, you notice you get an application on your springboard known as Cydia. This application is the application that does it all. Cydia is where you get all of your third party apps such as themes, tweaks, cracks, everything. So I'm going to tell you the ropes of jailbreaking and how to start it. Okay, once you get jailbroken your iPod, obviously you want to open up Cydia. Now, when Cydia opens up for the first time, it's going to ask you who you are. A user, hacker, or developer. Everybody, you guys really click developer. Now why click developer? Because developer gives you access to every package on Cydia because developer they're pretty much the highest in the class so they get um, the av availability to get every package. So I'm gonna click developer no filters and you know it'll work. So how repos work in Cydia? I'm gonna explain that after I show this to you. So this is Cydia. This is the home page. This is how it looks. Very nice. And it's reloading the data. It does this every time you open up Cydia. That's just how Cydia works. It's not as fast as the App Store, but it's just as good. Now when you open it for the first time, it's just an essential upgrade. I'm just gonna do a complete upgrade. That is just gonna download everything and press confirm so now it's doing a complete upgrade to my Cydia okay now I'm gonna be going over adding repositories also known as sources to Cydia Cydia works by repositories repositories is pretty much a website that's structured correctly to work especially for Cydia. By adding a repository, you're adding every package they have available on that repo. For example, if you add a repo with a theme on it, you're going to be able to download that theme. But if you never add that repo, you'll never know it had a theme on it. Say a repo adds a package to their um, repos to their source. So say a repo decides to add an app to their source. You're only going to see that app if you let Cydia refresh its, its sources. When you first launch Cydia, a black bar should appear over this one saying reloading data or say like checking sources, a black bar should appear. If you press cancel, it's going to cancel it and you're not going to get anything on your changes. If you press, if you say, if you let it do what it's got to do, it'll show you the updated package the repo has added. That's what that's for. So you have sections, which is pretty much how City is categorized. And you have your changes. There's no changes because I didn't add anything. Storage, this shows you how much you have on your iPod your system and your private. The sources is every source you have installed. The packages is every package you have installed. These are all the default packages that come with Cydia. Search is where you search for a package. As you may w know, when you watch videos on YouTube, they say type in Cydia blah 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 and install that. When they say that, they expect for you to have every rec they they expect you to have every trusted source already installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch. To install all the trusted source, as you can see, I only have like not even a page of sources. It's very small. What I want to do is go to the search bar and type in Steph S T E F and there's going to be a repository right there called StephWiz. I'm going to click on that and install by pressing the button right up there. StephWiz is a repository 
that has a package on the repository that lets you download all sources. Now it should say return to Cydia. Press that. Now if I go into my search bar, I can type in all A L L space S Right when I type in all space S, a package is going to come up by the name of all sources. It's from the repo we just installed. If I typed it in before, it would have never showed up. Now, I'm just press install. And confirm. Once it loads. This is going to install all of the trusted sources to our iPod. Cydia's repo feature isn't just used by installing it for as a package. You could also add a repo yourself by going down to Manage, Sources, Edit, and Add. Now you are prompted to type in a URL of the repo. I'm going to show you my personal favorite repo. This repo has cracks from the Cydia store in it, along with great themes and apps posted by the community. The name of the repo is repo.packagerepo.com. This link will be in the description as well. Then, you could simply press Add Source. It's verifying the URL and the source is now being added. Now that I have a repo added, it'll come up under a new category said stated entered by user. The packager repo was a repo made by me and two other YouTubers. Now that I click it, I now have accessibility to every package that the repo has available to send me. Cydia has a built-in ab ability known as queuing packages. For example, I have SB settings up here. SB settings is a very good app or tweak that gives your iPod or iPhone gesture settings by swiping the top status bar of your screen. So when I press install, as you can see, on the top left, it's going to say cancel or queue. I'm going to press that, and down here, I'm going to press continue queuing. Now, I'm also going to download another package called Winterboard. Winterboard is, a, is the theme manager for the iPod and iPhone. When you have Winterboard installed, it allows you to put themes on your iPod. So as you can see right there, Winterboard. I'm going to press install and again do cancel continue queuing. Now, if you look on my manage, I have a icon that says queued. I'm going to click that. And now up here there's a new button that says queue. If I press that button, both of the packages that I queued are going to show up and with one button I can install both of those packages. Please stay tuned for other jailbreaking videos such as this. And remember, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.